गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन मै नेम इज तेज मै रिसेस नंबर इज टू वन बी क्यू वन ए जीरो फाइव जे सेवन एंड आई एम फ्रॉम सी एस सी डी सेक्शन टूडे आई वॉज सी टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक ऑफ हिस्ट्रीसिस इन दिस वी फाइंड वी सी दैट वॉट इज हिस्ट्रीसिस एंड द हिस्ट्रीसिस इन फेरोमैरिन मेटेरियल लेट सी वॉट इज हिस्ट्रीसिस हिस्ट्रीसिस इज डिफाइंड एज दि लूप और करो प्लाट डॉन बी हेच कोआर्डिनेट्स विच शोस हाउ द मैग्नेटाइजेशन ऑफ द फेरो मैग्नेटिक मेटीरियल इज वेरी वेन वी अप्लाई वेन द मेटीरियल इज सब्जेक्टेड टू पीरियोटिकल रिवर्सल मैग्नेटाइजेशन दट मीन वेन वी आर इंक्रीजिंग एंड डिक्रीजिंग दि पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ऑन दि मेटीरियल दट वॉज सीन in the process step by step let's see about it at first initially the substance is at zero the, as that there was no ma- external magnetic field on the material and when we in- when the material is placed in an external magnetic field and increasing the uh, external applied magnetic field the material magnetizes rapidly and reaches a point called saturation point here the material did not get magnetized again and it is stay at constant to bring the material to zero we remove the applied external magnetic field and make it to zero but the material reaches to a point on b axis as b is the magnetic flux density and the point is represent represented as br here br means residual magnetism or retentively here at present the substance is here the word retentively means the amount of magnetic flux remains in the material when we remove the external magnetic field when we re- and now to re- to reduce the residual magnetism to zero we apply a negative magnetic field on the material and after that it it magnetizes and uh, reaches a point and the point is ca- represented as minus hc as it is the h coordinate which means sectional magnetic field and uh, it is a negative coordinate so we keep minus hc here minus hc is called as corrosive field or corrosively here the word corrosively means amount of magnetic intensity required to destroy the residual magnetism to zero as we are using this negative magnetic field to make the residual magnetism to zero and further we increase the negative magnetic field again it reaches a saturation point and that saturation point is called as saturation in opposite direction as it is the normal direction and it is in the opposite direction of this or this point is also called as negative saturation and when we remove the negative magnetic field to zero it did, it does not travel in this path and creates a new path and travel and reaches a point on b coordinate and this point is called as minus b r as it is on b axis and it is of the negative coordinate of the axis and the, it is rib, minus br is called as negative retentively or negative residual magnetism and again to destroy 
or make the residual negative residual magnetism to zero we apply a positive magnetic field on the material and by this positive magnetic field applied on the material it reaches a point in the h axis and this point is represented as hc as it is the positive axis and the, here hc is also called same as the corrosive field or corrosively as we all know that the definition of corrosivity and corrosively and when we further increase the positive magnetic field in the material it may it magnetize and uh, reaches a starting point a saturation point and here this complete a cycle of loop cycle or a loop this cycle or a loop is called as hysteresis loss uh, curve or hysteresis loop and from this graph we see that the these two points br and minus br as the applied magnetic field both positive and negative are uh, zero but the mag magnetization of the material is not zero so we find that at these two points the material can act as a per permanent magnet so thus we find that the magnetic field magnetic flux density b is always lag behind the magnetic field intensity h this lagging of b behind h creates the hysteresis and we see that this process is a reversible property as this material has a reversible property that means when we remove the external magnetic field but the magnetization of the material is not zero and this contains some energy uh, and this energy is converted or lost in the form of heat in the material and the the material is not going in the initial path so it is called it is called that the material has reversible property and i was representing the names of this material this curve as this is the initial path initial point as a and it is b c d e f and we find that the the curve or loop a b c d e f creates a loop and this the area enclosed between this a b c d e f is called as hysteresis loss and when we repeat this process of increasing and decreasing the magnetic field in the material the second the second creates the same loop i think as you are understand and now familiar with the topic of hysteresis in ferromagnetic material hope you understand this thank you i'm sorry that this is the loop that a b c d e f and again a which creates the closed path or closed loop hope you understand that thank you